was already set long before I was born. As a child, I was not expected to think or question what everyone else believed. What I was expected to do was very simple, be a good student at school, study medicine or law. If your parents are strong enough to influence your decision, get out of college with a good grade and get a job. All you have to do is to work a job for 35 years and retire. Nobody tells you about purpose and fulfillment is defined as money. As long as you get a job in a bank or in a hospital as a doctor, you should be happy since you'll be well paid. However, when I was 17, I started wondering if the path that everyone was going is the path I should go. I was troubled because nobody in my immediate society was qualified to guide me and I didn't even have internet access then in my town so there was no way I could follow a mentor or connect with great people online. The only option I had was to read books. So I started reading every book I could find that may guide me on self-discovery. I was lucky because even though I didn't have money to buy books, God sent some very good books to me through friends and the library. I read books about potentials. I read books about life. I read biographies of great people and I read books about temperaments. The more I read, the better I knew about myself and the more I knew about myself, the more arrogant I became. Okay, uh, not really arrogance, but when you start to think different from your parents and everyone else, the name for such behavior in my culture is called arrogance. I'll continue this story later in this video as I want to share with you one of the most valuable advice from Oprah Winfrey. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here it is. Oprah Winfrey said, Your job is not just to do what your parents say, what your teachers say, what society says, but to figure out what your heart calling is and to be led by that. It's amazing how most people simply leave to fit into the society. It's surprising how most people simply believe that there's only one road to the market. It's unbelievable that most humans spend 18 years in school to study many subjects but they never spend a single year of their life to study and know themselves. The Power in the Uniqueness To continue the personal story I was telling you earlier, the more I got to know myself, the clearer I see that I'm not part of this world. I just discovered that I'm a very different human who shouldn't think like everyone or go to where everyone is going. I knew there's a path that I have to take, even though I didn't know anyone in my immediate environment who has ever taken such path and taking such path was just what I did. It's a general weakness. We humans want to be like everyone because if we don't do what everyone is doing, they are going to alienate, criticize and hate us. For instance, when I decided to leave school, my brother told me that if I don't have a degree in my life, I won't be accepted by other people who do have degrees and this will affect my chances of success. Well, he was wrong. I knew right there that he was wrong but I didn't know how exactly I was going to prove him wrong until about 9 years after. I suddenly became more relevant than most people. My company worked for the richest state in my country and I was able to meet with the wife of the state governor. I was invited to speak by PhD holders. I was in a meeting with the vice president of my country and suddenly I remembered what my brother told me. He told me that if I don't have degrees, people will disregard me but without any degree, I've been to places and met some of the most important people in my country. Your job is not just to do what your parents say, what your teachers say and what society says but to figure out what your heart calling is and to be led by that. The world is wrong. If you truly want to be happy, your goal is to discover who you are and how you are different from everyone else. Without this important exercise, you live the rest of your life pursuing the wind. You wake up every day to look for what the society thinks is normal. Your life will be influenced by what you see on the Facebook and Instagram and you will make that the standard of your life and your life will be miserable. The reason why you won't find real joy following everyone is because you are a different person, far different in some ways from everyone else. 
If you want to see how horrible most people's lives are, imagine putting a fish, a bird and a horse into the same environment. Should we put them on the tree? Should we put them on the floor? Or should we put them inside the water? No matter where you put the fish, birds and the horse, as long as you keep them in the same environment, two of them will never be happy. If you put these three animals inside the water, the fish will be happy but the horse and the bird will be miserable. If you put them on the tree, the bird will be happy but the horse and the fish will be miserable. If you put them on the ground in a jungle, the horse will be happy because he can now run but the fish and the bird will be miserable because none of them love walking or running on the ground. This exactly is what is happening in our society. We keep every child in the same environment, teach them the same things and brainwash them to be the same kind of adults. That's why most people are not happy. Most people are not happy because they are birds but the society has brainwashed them to live inside the water. Some people are fishes but the society has brainwashed them to live on the tree. Some people are horses but the society has deceived them to live on the tree. No miracle can make these people happy except the miracle of self-discovery. Your job is not just to do what your parents say, what your teachers say or what the society says but to figure out what your heart calling is and to be led by that. How to discover yourself In my childish opinion, nobody should be called an adult except they can state in 30 seconds who they are and what they want to live for because adult life is about decisions and how can you make the right decisions if you don't know who you are? Let me try to give you some tips that can help you here. Now, Number 1. Spend time with yourself You need to spend time with the world to know how the world works but you also need to spend quality time with yourself to know how you are. Use this lone time to ask yourself probing questions such as what do I love doing? What do I hate doing? If today I have all the money I can ever have, what job or career will I pursue next week? Two. Read books about temperaments. I recommend Why You Act the Way You Do by Tim Lahaye but if you can find other books about temperaments, go ahead and read them. You see, knowing your temperaments will reveal to you who you are, your strengths and weaknesses. This may guide you into knowing what profession or career path you should pursue. For example, a choleric who wants to be a medical doctor will need to think twice while a melancholy who wants to be an entrepreneur will know that he needs to partner with a choleric. A phlegmatic who wants to be a politician will have to understand his weakness, work hard on it or try another path. 3. Don't be afraid to be yourself That you're different from every one of us should be a great thing we all should celebrate. The world will attack criticize and reject you for being who you are. Be courageous because it's only by being who you are that you can change what the world is. In conclusion, let me correct a notion that some people have about being different and that is many people exercise their differences in a negative way. Some think that the reason why they dress like prostitutes is because they are different. Some think the reason why they use hard drugs is because they are different from the rest of us. If your differences don't help you to become a better person, then that is not what I'm advocating in this video. Know who you are, know what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Know the career that will make you happy and fulfilled and go rough even if everyone in the world thinks you are crazy. Your job is not just to do what your parents say, what your teachers say, what society says but to figure out what your heart calling is and to be led by that. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.
everything was already set long before I was born. As a child, I was not expected to think or question what everyone else believed. What I was expected to do was very simple, be a good student at school, study medicine or law. If your parents are strong enough to influence your decision, get out of college with a good grade and get a job. All you have to do is to work a job for 35 years and retire. Nobody tells you about purpose and fulfillment is defined as money. As long as you get a job in a bank or in a hospital as a doctor.